Hello everyone, here is CryptoKillers, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at USPD, a decentralized stablecoin that I want to break down for you step by step, guys. Last week the crypto market was crazy, USDC had problems, USDE went down, but USPD, it stayed at $1 the whole time, guys. So why? Because of how it was boiled, let me show you how it works. So. Let's start maybe with the problematics of the stablecoin problem today. So every one of you using a Tether USDT or USDC, something like that. And yeah, before we look at USPD, we need to understand the problem. So right now there are three types of stablecoins. So the type one is centralized stablecoins, like how I said, USDC, USDT, so Tether. There are simple, good things. So, for example, loss of liquidity, easy to trade, governments like them, easy to understand how they work, and also some bad things like can freeze your money, you don't know where the money really is, or when one company controls everything, if they have problems, your money has problems. That's it. That's real. So then we have the type 2, algorithmic stablecoins, like old Thai, Luna, Destroyed, to be smart, good things about them, no central company, fully decentralized, you control your money. Bad things can crash quickly, so you remember Luna, for example. Then very complicated, doesn't always work well, and needs a lot of extra money to run. Then we have type 3, over collateralized. Stable coins, maker DAO die, these are better, good things. Decentralized, no control, central company, work it for many years, people understand how they work, and some bad things, you have to manage everything yourself, you have to worry about getting liquidated, and you have to manage everything yourself, how I say it. It's really complicated for regular users, and wastes money. USPD is different, it's a fourth way, and this is where it gets interesting, guys, for you. So, yeah. How USPD works? This is a two-sided system. The big idea behind USPD is separate the jobs completely, think about it like it's one side you, also the user, and what you do. You send your Ethereum to mine USPD, the system automatically converts Ethereum to staked Ethereum, so you automatically earn yield, the staking rewards, zero risk of being liquidated. So that's good, that's good part. So you can burn your USPD anytime and get your stake Ethereum back instantly. Life is simple, you hold it, you earn, no stress. Other side, professional stabilizers, what they do here with USPD. They put in their own money to keep the system healthy, they add extra money so the system stays above 125% collateralization, they manage all the volatility and risk, they get paid in fees for doing this job. So this is genius, why? Because in MakerDAO you have to do all this complex stuff, you have to manage your position, you have to worry about liquidation, you have to understand everything in USPD. You don't, professionals do it. You just hold USPD and yearn, jailed every wins. You get simplicity and jailed. Professionals earn money and USPD gets stability. This is better design. Section. So, and let me tell you now a little about the collateral and safety. Now let's look at the safety part. USPD uses staking Ethereum as collateral, that's Ethereum staking tokens. Why? It generates yield right now about 3 and 4%, big market, lots of liquidity, not too crazy volatility, that yield goes to USPD holders. So minimum safety rule is 125% collateralization. So I can show you here now, system health and status, here we can see it, here on USPD. So this means for every $1 USPD that exists, there must be at least $1.25 in staked Ethereum locked up. This is not optional. The code forces it. Now hear the amazing part about USPD, guys. Look at this dashboard. Right now you can see exactly how much USPD has been created. Right? Right. Exactly how much staked Ethereum is locked up. You can also check it here, guys. And exactly what the collateralization percentage is right you can check it out here we have the ratio all numbers on the blockchain and updated it's 24 hours so that's really good 
So we can compare it, for example, with USDC. With USDC, you get a PDF report from Sizer. You have to trust what they tell you. You can check it yourself. With USPD, you are looking at real data on the blockchain. No company, no lies, poor math. This is don't trust, verify, actual, real. So let me tell you what happened last week. The stress test. So, and this is really, really interesting in my opinion, guys. So I will tell you now about it. So here we have also more about them. Here you can also check on the document. You will have all links in my description under my video, guys. So that will be really good. But let me tell you now a little about the last week. Last week, something important happened. The market crashed hard. USDC had problems. People weren't sure if they could get their money out. USD went down. People found out the collateral wasn't what they thought. And other systems, the risk managers got liquidated. USPD stayed at $1 per. Let me explain why. Reason 1. The 125% buffer. With 125% collateralization, even if stake at Ethereum drop at 20%, USPD would still have more than reason. Yeah. With 100% coverage, the buffer absorbs the shock. So, the reason 2 professional stabilizers. So, that's also a big, big, big point. Here we can go also to the stabilizers, how this work. So, when staked Ethereum dropped, stabilizers had an incentive to maintain that 125% ratio or make money doing so. So they added more collateral or reduced positions. The system stayed healthy, so that's really good. And also we have the blockchain transparency. Holders could open the health, how I said it already, here the system health, and see the system was healthy in real time, no bank around panic because everyone could verify the truth. They have also a good architecture. If one stabilizer had a problem, it didn't break everything. Other stabilizers kept the system running. This was USPD's Black Thursday test, like Michael Dao's crisis in 2020. You remember it? The system passed this lesson. Good design with built in safety actual works. So we can compare now, for example, the USPD with others. So you can, in my opinion, you can do it really, really easy to compare it. So here we have also a many, many other points. So you can check it out. So liquidation mechanics. So you can understand all here. So that's really, really good. And yeah, they have also then on bridge. You can mine and burn also. So that's really, really amazing here. And yeah, but let me tell you now little about comparison. Let's quickly compare USPD to other stable coins. USPD against USDC. So USPD advantages, it's decentralized, no central company cannot be frozen, transparent, not custodial, and USDC also have advantages like massively liquidity everywhere, worked with governments, proven over many years. USDC problems, centralized, the company controls it, reserves not fully transparent, can freeze accounts. So for example, we can also make a USPD also about, again, Athena, for example, so big difference, custody, USPD, non-custodial, your stake at Ethereum stays in smart contracts on the blockchain, Athena custodial, they hold your collateral or centralized action risk, that's huge counterparty risk for Athena users. USPD against MicroDAO also, for example, here we have the point both decentralized. Main difference, USPD, you just hold it, professionals manage risk. DAI, you manage your own position, more complicated, right? USPD new needs more testing and die proven size 2014. They have also a the liquidity campaign. Right now USPD is running a liquidity campaign. Here's what's happening. So here you can see on the Curve put Merck rewards. The USPD partner with Curve Finance and Merck to reward people who provide liquidity. Here is the USPD USDC pool on Curve, as you can see here. And if you add liquidity here, you earn trading fees from swaps, extra rewards from Merck, and native USPD yield continues. It's all automatic, no staking needed, and you can check also the rewards. We have the link in the description, guys. So, and something what is coming soon is the Curve official rewards. So the next USPD is voting to get official Curve rewards. If they win, the pool gets permanent token rewards. So this is the holy grail for liquidity pools, permanent official rewards. This matter because more liquidity means USPD is easier to trade, easier to buy and sell. That makes it more useful for everyone. And competitors are not 
Better guys, now, now you might be thinking, but everyone uses USDC and Tether, right? Yeah. Let me be clear. This or centralized one command controls them, that's a huge risk. USPD says you don't need to trust us. Verify everything yourself, that's a different value. For some people, that's worth more. So, USPD for me, in my opinion, shows smart protocol design. The two sided architecture is genuinely new, guys. So, the transparency is real, actually on chain, actually verifiable. The stress test last week was a good sign for me, in my opinion. Risks excised, it's a beta phase, new mechanism, real collateral exposure, but risk you can verify and monitor for user who want. So, again, we have here decentralization, censorship resistance, transparency, jailed without managing complex positions, and willing to accept beta phase risk. This is worth researching. So, the K, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Here was Kilas. We see us in the next video. I wanted to tell you a little about USPD and we see us in the next video. Bye bye.